We'll begin with an orientation to the fogger. The basic parts of the fogger are these. A container that holds the disinfectant solution. A hose with an adjustable nozzle for fogging a space. An adjustment knob for setting the amount of fog. The filters. A power cord. Connect the unit to the designated electrical supply. Do not pull the fogger by its electrical cord to move or position it. Always use a grounded three-terminal extension. Do the following steps before starting the fogger. 1. Turn the adjustment knob until it is closed. 2. Push down on the base of the knob and align the point with the groove on the nozzle. 3. Release the base to set the point. Fill the fogger with the amount of solution you need for that use. Seal the disinfectant tank with its cap. One, turn off the adjustment knob. Two, turn off the power. Three, open the tank cap. Caution, failure to follow this sequence can result in liquids dripping into the hose and eventually reaching and destroying the motor. One, empty and flush the tank with clean water after the day's use. Caution, never store mixed Decon 7 in the tank. Two, clean the fogger hose by putting clean water in the holding tank and fogging with the clean water for 30 seconds. This is done at the end of the day's use. Three, Regularly inspect the spray hose and electrical cord for any damage. 4. Store the fogger so the nozzle is protected when not in use. 5. After each use, clean the filter on the bottom plate of the fogger to prevent the motor from overheating. A. To do this, Remove the bottom plate of the fogger by unscrewing the four screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. B. Take the plate with the filters attached and wash them in clean water. C. Reattach the bottom plate to the fogger.